Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we are going to try and try not to suck this time. That's what's going to happen. We got KTP coming to town, and we're going to do what we can do to fucking try to fucking win. Um, should I leave Nermela out there? I'll say, um, you know, you know what I am going to do here. I was going to go with Hackbloom, but I don't think so this time. I think I'm going to go with, um, Oh, what's his name? Hinkala. Just, just cause, just cause I can. Um, we are gonna sit a Wusu down, I think, and have him come off the bench, if if we have the opportunity. But anyway, that's what's that's what's gonna happen, I think. Um, I don't know. Fuck it. We'll go with Osei in the middle of the park with Hanan and Nermela and all that good stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let's try not to fucking suck this time and. Try not to be what we were last time, which was terrible. Absolutely fucking terrible. This is a big match. We can actually go top of the table and put, well, not really put much distance between us and KTP. I mean, as I said before, we're not really, not really able to put any consistent performances together right now. Because we're not really that good. But, we're going to try. Um... Apparently we're the fucking favorites, but uh, let's just just go with that. I guess I don't know. I I don't really know. We do have our goalkeeper back from uh, international duty that he was on last time, which is good, which is very very good. But um, we'll see. We'll see how bad we can we can play here today. Um, in all honesty, oh my god. In all honesty, we're really just hoping for. I'd be okay with a draw, in truth. I mean, let everyone else do the dirty work and beat KTP for us. That's the idea. <laughs> I mean, as much as we'd like to get the one over on them and, and go two points clear, I don't know if that's really possible at present. I mean, it's just it's just one of those things that I I just don't know. Um, uh, that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's well, we'd have to play very well. Oh, you had passes there, Ronald, if you didn't hesitate. And now you're all right. At least we didn't turn that shit over. Um, in between, oh, 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 also I didn't, I didn't mention this. Um, in between this episode and the last one, I was able to talk to the board. And god damn it, are you fucking kidding me? Why are we just ugh, turning the fucking ball over for no damn reason? But anyway, I was able to talk to the board and get some money out of him. And they're all else and say if he gets that cross, and that's a fucking goal. Um. Uh, get some money out of the board on our uh, increase our wage budget a bit so we now have oh my god Jesus Christ we now have a little bit more breathing room um hopefully we can try and sign a couple players but you know we'll see we'll see how that goes um it's doubtful just because of the way the game is it's very very difficult for a lower team like us to sign anyone outside of our country um, especially when you're not full time um, that's really the thing that we really need to do is become a full-time club and get out of being a part-time club like we are now. Um, but hopefully that's that's in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That was really a corner we probably could have avoided. But anyway, I mean, that's that is what it is, I suppose. Right? Right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure if I'll take Hinkle out at any point or not. I mean, I may just end up leaving him in there and substitute Hagblum uh, for for Wusu. That's kind of the plan right now. Um, just because then, then we could probably sit Hinkle in next time and have Hagblum the the starting center back back there. I. Eh. The reason I'm doing this is because it does seem to be a little bit better with Hinkula. We seem to be a little more sure-footed, I guess. A little more um, assertive. So it's, I guess, trying to go with the safest option. And Why are we just waltzing around here? Jesus. Not fucking time. Of course, it still doesn't amount to anything because it's only a throw. But anyhow... 
first 20 minutes gone and we still have no Jesus Christ. Oh my god, what the hell? The goalkeeper wasn't even anywhere near that. The hell are you jumping at? <laughs> oh Christ, I thought that was a goal. I really did. Just have to rage the fuck out and get all mad. But I'll save that for another time. Say that. Whoa, okay, that was frightening. Uh, offside, I think. No, he's onside for once. Oh my god. Yeah, see, I'm not really. I haven't been really impressed with Hananen. I mean, he's. At least not as a box to box midfielder. I mean, it might put Nermela in there in a little bit. Or next. Next half. You know, in the second 45, just to. Just to see what we can do to spice things up. Honestly, I mean, it's kind of. He just doesn't seem to be in the right. He doesn't seem to be in the positions I think he needs to be in. I mean, or at least the positions that I've seen, you know, seen us have success with. But um, well, that was a decent pass, though. But I mean, he's still he's making those passes like he's the deep play, deep line playmaker, and I might have to go check that. But I'm pretty sure he is not labeled as that. Ugh. So you have a shot on goal first half. <laughs> this match seems to be going pretty quick though, which is hopefully going to be good. Oh, you waited too late. You had passes there on all. Ugh. Now we got a corner out of it though. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I think I'll definitely put in Nermela in the second half. Might actually at the at, at the half, just because with Heightenen back there, I just I just remember, yeah, he's taking the free kicks in the corner, and I'm not so sure I want him to do that. So, if Nermail is out there, at least then we have some extra an extra body uh, to theoretically help prevent a counter attack. But we will see. Although the thing is, though, I'm not really like Nermela at his age who can't really get around much. So like that box the box role might be a little much for him to play. You know, it probably won't be in much of a position either, but I see like how now see now Hananen's kind of moving in the right direction, but uh puts it wide, god damn it. Yeah, he really should have hit the back of the net. That was a good chance. That was a good chance. Actually starting to establish some possession here in the second part of the first half, but hasn't really amounted to anything. Ugh. Well, at least they're getting the injuries this time instead of us. Take that shit. No, 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 no. Okay. I always cringe when the opposition has a free kick. Especially in a good spot like that where you can just send it. And that's something, too. Like, I, I really wish... I wish you could, um, actually, uh... You know, I know you can, but it doesn't seem to be consistent enough. I'd rather them to put that sort of shot like that on on goal or or uh, free kick or rather from from distance. Put that in there. Give us a chance to get on the end of it every time instead of you know sometimes passing it off to a short player. I mean, I don't, I don't really care for that ball retention and that opportunity. I mean, it's a free kick, and like I said, we're not really good at free kicks to begin with. So, you know, being able to take advantage of those and put as many of them in a box as possible is probably, you know, our best course of action. But that's, yeah, once again, that's something I might have to go take a look at. Because I think it's on... I think it's on Varied or something like that, but I might, I might actually go and get nitpicky with it. Here soon because we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna need all the goals we can get. In truth, I mean this is a good spot right here. And what in the hell? That was awkward. Got a corner out of it at least. Hmm. And that's something too. Uh, one thing I haven't noticed. Um. In my time on my other file too, in this game, I have not been able to find a free kick specialist. That was something that I had a bit of a, 
not really a problem with, but that was something that I had on my um, my my FM12 file is I had a um, uh, a free kick taker that was like you know. He was exactly that. He was a free kick specialist, and I, had, I made sure I had a couple of them. A couple of them that were pretty good. I haven't been able to find one that's super great in this game yet. That seems to be a skill that's few and far between. Um, the last game, you know, like I said, I had a couple players who were pretty good at it. You know, one in particular who was really good at free kick taking. You know, he could score goals from free kicks fairly often. You know, he'd probably score a good five of them. You know, a season. But. Um, you know, in fact, he was one of those players I would have put on like late in games to to um, take free kicks and stuff like that, and, and like you know late games, late close games and stuff like that. You know, of course, he was a really good penalty taker too, and that's something also that I seem to have problems. Like, yeah, penalty takers and free kick takers seem to be few and far between. I mean, I don't know if that's maybe that's something that gets a lot better with age. I'm not quite sure, but. You know, that's that's one of those things that I just haven't been able to find very many of. Whereas, like I said, in FM12, I had a slew of players. I mean, God, I had world-class penalty takers. In truth, I mean, they were fucking good old boy. Well, I got lucky with that. But that was back then, and this is now, I suppose, right? Oof. That wasn't too terrible. And then this is something too. We we uh we're lacking on the left hand side. We don't really have much for uh, attackers that we can put on that left hand side. If Stasil is fucking poor like he is today, that's one of the. I think I've mentioned that. That's one of the um the hidden attributes in this game that the consistency and stuff like that. That's that's something that uh, consistency and um oh fuck what's it called important matches i guess is what it's called how good they are god damn it well there goes this fucking game we just lost this there's just no there's nothing we got we had nothing we had nothing our best bet was really holding them to a fucking nil nil draw at that point because we don't really have anybody to come off the bench and Fucking liven shit up when we're this bad. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take Stasil off and I don't know, put Kokeaho over there. I don't know. I, mean, I guess I do have Felman with me. I'll give Felman a shot. But I mean, you can't fucking do any worse, honestly. But anyway, we'll go out there and piss away in the next 20 minutes and hopefully get out of here with. Limited damage done, and FC Hawk is winning too. So that means if FC Hawk is winning and we're losing, that means, yeah, we drop down the fourth. That's uh, not where we want to be. Oh, well, no, thank you very much. Thank you so very much. And that's uh, back up to third. Yay! Good thing is though with FC Haka playing that where they're sitting at on the table, they're at the same they're at the same points as we are. So we kind of you know and between us KTP and FC Haka, I mean there's only what one point I think difference because us and FC Haka are tied, and KTP is only one point ahead of us. So you know like I said, it's not 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 really that much of a difference between any of us up there right now. So good thing is. Good thing is, you know, they're not really gonna get away from us. That's something too. You want you want to always keep it close, so that you know when it comes down to it, you know it can be a match or two, or you know they can drop a match. And as I was, was gonna say too, FC Haka has not been exactly unbeatable. I mean, they've been kind of they've they've been kind of vulnerable. Oh no, there's Jesus. I thought that was another goal for sure. For sure. Hinkle has been terrible too, right? Fuck. You know, see the thing is though, I you know, even though he's playing bad, I'm quite honestly scared to fucking put Hagblum back there. I really am. For the simple fact that I don't 
I don't think he'd do any better. Even on a bad day, I think Hinkie was still better than, oh, geez, we had a great string of passes here, and then you do that. I'm just going to keep cycling it over here. and Yeah, as I say, that's the guy you want the ball. Oh, no, come on. Oh, my God. Nermela. What in the hell was that, big boy? Wow. That was a monster of a shot there. That was a hell of a shot. All right, well, I think I am going to do this. Now, now with the goal in hand, we're going to take Hagblum off. And just to rest him. And put a Wusu on there. And and let him let him finish out the next sixteen minutes, hopefully only sixteen minutes of this match. But we'll see. With one goal lead, like I said, our defense is going to be what's going to let us down this season. I can tell you that. I'm not gonna tell you, you know, which players specifically are gonna let us down, because that's it's neither here nor there. But, yeah. Like I said, it's going to be it's gonna be a long, frustrating fight, and that's going to go out. Yes, all right, we'll get the throw on that one. How's everyone else doing in the league? Yippo's down. PK35 isn't bad. Ills is winning. Look at that. Don't, all right. I was going to say, don't go out of bounds. Don't go... Don't give them a free free kick. Or free free kick. A free corner kick. Oh. oh. See, now we're starting to string together a few good passes, at least, except for Heighton, and he just wants to sit there. And, all right, Fellman. What do you got for us, buddy? That's. All right. I suppose. But like I said, now we got Nermail over there. Or should be Nermail over there taking. No, it's Heighton in still. I thought Nermelo was the better corner taker. Shows how much I fucking pay attention. Right? I'm running this fucking team. I don't even know what the hell's going on. But I am surprised. You know, I'm not going to lie. I am surprised that we've got... Well, you know, wait a minute. Now, I should take that back. I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised because when I first started my Galway file on, on FM14, I did have an, an, an Irish kid who... Uh, who was a target man striker and was scoring goals for me? So I shouldn't be I shouldn't be too surprised. We really should have had a goal there, or at least a fucking penalty. That was a bit much down there. But um, oh my god, what was that? Oh Jesus! Ah, Christ! Off the crossbar. But anyway, I, I shouldn't be surprised because I did have yeah, I did have a target man striker who scored a ton of goals for me. So I shouldn't I shouldn't be too too surprised. And in truth, the the striker that I do have now, Olsen, is not your typical. He's actually he's actually a bit like Javier Hernandez, teacher Dato. He's a bit like him because he's small, but he's still pretty good in the air. But anyway, and he's really quick too. That's that's the reason why he's my starting striker. But anyway, fucking awesome result. Um, I'm gonna be nice. Tell him I did halfway decent. That was that was a good that was a good win to come back from. In all honesty, I'm I'm okay with that. With the pressure implied, you know, being able to to come back from a goal down in the second half and pretty quick too, and then uh, and then. And then win to go top of the table. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Now see, and that, that's something too. You look at our goals against nine for Yippo. Yippo's played pretty well defensively, and nine for us and seven for PK35. That match against PK35 coming up is going to be a pretty big one. Um, for that reason, right there. But we now have seen now KTP and, and FC Haka. The teams is that's something too. If you play any soccer or any football, whatever you want to call it, all the teams that are good are gonna be teams that have few goals scored against. That's just the way it is. Those top teams, those top four teams are always gonna have few goals scored against them. But anyhow, 
that does it for this episode. We rebounded nicely. I'm pretty happy about that. But anyhow, that does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.